Hi, Julie Torrens here. Working in, oh, I didn't shake this. Working in my small acrylic journal. And I am ready to get started on some Valentine's. So today is December the 22nd. No, December the 27th. And uh, this page was already gessoed. But the reason why I'm thinking Valentine's is because if you have an Etsy store, especially if what you have in your Etsy store is for people to take it and then build with it, it's time. You got to get stuff out there. So I'm just like the grocery store. Before New Year's, I got Valentine's Day going. <laughs> I don't have an Etsy store, not yet. Will I? I think so. Um, I, I like the way Etsy helps take care of business. You know, they're doing the marketing and that kind of thing. But I don't know. I haven't made up my mind. I might just do something like my own store, but then, you know, will I get millions of people like you get in an Etsy store? I'm just using a baby wipe to get this paint spread. And if it's blotchy and has marks, that's fine with me. And I just need a little more to get this corner done. There we go. Okay. All right. And that was my Dilusions and it is Tropical Sangria. I like this paint because it dries really fast and we can just keep going. So I've got all kinds of reds and pinks and purples, that kind of thing out here. So that's what I want to get started on. I also have some titanium white and black and maybe I'll need more colors. Maybe I won't. I don't know. I'm going to start out with some titanium white on my paper plate palette and I'm going to go with this magenta. Now when I put this magenta out, it's going to look almost black. <laughs> I mean, it's dark. Don't want too much. I'm working on a pretty small surface. And then I've got, whoops, Pyro Crimson. And I'm hoping that this is kind of a red towards a bluish color, but whatever it is, we're going to use it. And we can lighten any of that up with some pink. I've got my, my favorite Liquitex brush. I might want something a little bit bigger though. One of my square brushes. Do I have one that's just not too big? Mm, let's try this one, but I'll leave the other one out and get it wet. Okay, I'm gonna start out with this crimson just right out of the chute. Now, the reason why I wet my brush is so that my paint just doesn't wanna absorb straight into the brush, but it will hopefully leave the paint a little more on the outside. And let's start with one right here. See if I can make a point here. Just add a touch of water. This is really like a lipstick red. I like it. I may have to take my smaller brush and clean up the edges a little bit, but that's okay. All right. There's one heart. Let's get another red one. I'm adding just a little more water. That went easier. More water, that's why. But I've got a rim of paint right on this edge. And I just know that will take forever to dry. 
see if I can clean this up. There we go. All right. I'm pretty okay with this. I'll still, I'll clean up, clean them up a little bit. One more. One more of this red. Mm, you know what? I'm going to hold off. I'm going to make another one, but smaller. So I'm going to go ahead and take this red that I, that I've got, and I'm going to cut into this white and see if I can come up with a pink. It's more like a mauve, and that's because of the amount of blue that's in this. I think it would be okay on this pink background. So let, let's give it a try. Let's just see what we get. Definitely a mauve. But it's kind of a, a streaky with red mauve. I don't mind it. I wouldn't mind if there was more of a Cupid's bow around the, you know, this dip. Okay. I don't think I have enough to make another one of that size. I'm going to rinse my brush and double rinse. Let's get into this magenta, this deep magenta. All right, let's see. I'm liking it. I think the color is fine. Okay. Yep. Another one. See if I can do something with the point here. And there we go. So the blizzard's over. We literally had when we broke, there was a, I guess, a big blizzard here in 78. Now, I lived in Toledo, Ohio in 78. And there was a big blizzard then. I was already out of nursing school. And we had a huge blizzard. But whatever they had here, I want to say it was 18 inches. Well, that got broke. That record got broke. We had like 21, 22 officially. So that's quite a bit. All right. I like this. I'm going to rinse my brush. I want to get some smaller hearts in there. But before I do, I want to get a purple heart in there. At least one. I think purple can be really cool for Valentine's Day. So let's get a purple heart. Got that big brush. All right. And this is dioxazine purple, which is again, almost like black it looks like, but when it gets on here, it'll be purple. I'm thinking I'm gonna lean the heart this way. Good. Mm. 
Yep. That's good. I'll clean up that edge. But I think I'm done with this big brush. Let's give it a good rinse. And I'm getting the small brush. I want to start before this mauve completely dries. I'm going into this mauve color because I knew it was going to dry first and see if I can just clean up the edge. And it's going to look a little bit of a different color, but when it dries, it'll be the same. Now, if I'm not able to get these edges just, just right, I am not going to worry about it because I'm going to be decorating these hearts. This is just the bases. But how I'm going to decorate them and, you know, each one, I don't know. So I want them all to be prepared for whatever. Okay. All right, let's clean up that red heart that we started with. I've got some water on the ferrule. Let me get that off of there. And see if we can clean up this heart. I'm taking my glasses off. Too much water. It's okay. I lifted acrylic because it wasn't dry. So let's leave that alone. We've got another one here. This one didn't come out too bad. I wanna clean up the point. There we go. All right. Let's clean up the, well, the magenta and the purple both need it. This magenta is pretty good. Let's get that feral dry. Okay. Am I making it worse or better? Can't tell, huh? I just can tell that this magenta, when I was working on this heart, went on thin. So was it too much water or just my brush was too dry? I don't know, but I'm pretty much giving it a whole second coat and we'll see what that does. All right. I'm going to give this a turnaround and work on this one. I'm going to give it just a touch of water. And I'm working right in the seam. That's okay. So why am I doing this in my art journal? Well, because I want to practice this kind of a thing for my own hearts that are coming up. I'm not going to make a, like a, Valentine journal. I think that's just so holiday specific. But I do have some journals that we're going to start working on. Some junk journals. 
but as I say, I, I'm not picturing yet a Valentine journal because I just think it's, it's just so specific. And let's face it, there's people that celebrate the decorations and the whole thing of Christmas year round. Not so much Valentine's Day. Okay. Now to this dioxazine purple heart. Let's see what we can do with it. Again, I've got some water on the ferrule. All right. I just love how these Liquitex paints give such good coverage. I bought some myself. I got some as a gift from someone that wasn't using them anymore. And I, I'm spoiled. I know I am. And yes, I've tried some of the others, but, and it might not be that I'm spoiled because of what Liquitex is or isn't. It may be just because it's what I've used so much that I now I'm just so familiar and I can predict. Whereas if I get other kinds, I may or may not be able to predict. All right, let's, let's get a heart this way. My hand has a little tremor today. And the more I work in my journals and do my 10 minutes or less exercises, the more I have better control of that. Um, I'd love to say it's caffeine, but I'm a decaf girl. So it's, you know, who knows? My nerves. You don't make me nervous though. And doing videos doesn't make me nervous because if it's just awful, all I have to do is delete it, you know? So just sometimes I just have a little tremor. If I wasn't doing this kind of fine work, I probably wouldn't notice it, but there we go. That's good. I'm going to do another purple. Maybe right in here, just a little one. Yep, that's a cute little heart. Oh, well, what did I do? Okay, now I need, I'm like, rinse, I need another magenta and I need another of that, what is that red called? Pyrrol Crimson. Let's do that one next, that's this one. Okay, Pyrrol Crimson, here, goodness, goodness, what am I doing? This side came out just horrible. Sorry, we'll fix it. And there. Oh, not there, huh? If you have this kind of trouble, 
Don't give up. Just keep going. It'll be fine. Just work it and work it. Don't give up. All right, I like that. We got three purples. We've got three pyro red. So we need one more of those magenta and that mauve color. Not that I don't like it, I do. But I'm just going to leave it as one and that'll be fine. All right, so magenta. Unless I just see a spot. Because I can certainly mix up some more of that. That will not be hard. Okay. All right. Over here. This is a pretty color. I like it. I went to the Liquitex site. I also was looking at Jerry's Artorama and Blick because they're all now, you know, today is the day after Boxing Day, but they're all advertising clearances and sale. I think it was on the Jerry's site. They had one close out color in Liquitex and it was kind of a turquoisey color which turquoise is a color that I will admit anytime I cannot mix a good turquoise I've tried but that is a color like what I call a convenience color that I buy because I just cannot mix it okay well, I do have some space here. Should I try to mix up another one of those mauve hearts? I could. All right, let's see. That was this red and white. More white. Close enough. And let's pull this paint off of the brush as much as I can. Ooh, I left some behind. There we go. All right. A couple of small ones of these. I think I think we can fit them in. So if I was doing this in my five-minute journal, I would be just racing some hearts in with watercolor and then probably that would be it and watercolor is a lot easier to clean up pick up but you know you could even do it with markers or crayons or whatever and then my next day I would do the decorating on top but I am doing this with you All right, that one's kind of rough. I'm gonna go back to it. I think I'm gonna put one up here. Now, if you really feel like you cannot make a heart, fold a piece of paper in half, cut out some various sizes, and then they'll be nice and symmetrical, and then just, like, trace them, and then color them in. And that can ease your mind about coming up with a heart that's just maybe more to your liking. Let's see if I can clean this line up. I 
I mean, mine are not perfect. Not by a long shot. But. They're fine. Okay. I think this one needs some more. It looks pretty ragged here. All right. How do you like it? I think it's coming along great. All right, let's rinse these brushes out. Got one here in the drink. Get it out. Thank you for being patient while I do that. Okay, now, I've got this stencil. PM Artist Studios, and this is uh, Carrie Griffith's design. And what I wanted to do is get a border around. And I'm trying to decide if I want to do the border before I decorate or after. I think I'm going to go with after. The reason why I'm having like a, a moment of consideration is because my acrylic paints, these dry fast. So what I'm going to do, I didn't bring a second. Well, I have one. I'm just going to give them a light mist. I have another paper plate down here. And I'm just going to turn my paper plate on top. And that should be okay for a little while. All right. Now, some of these hearts are drier than others, but I can, I believe I can get started on some decorating. And so I've got the old pastas here, grabbing a handful. And let's see what we can do with them. I'm going to start out with the pink. And I'm going to start with this mauvey heart. And let's not have these bumping into me too much. And I'm just going around the edge. I'm kind of half on the heart and half not. I, I don't want to drag my arm through wet paint if I can avoid it. Okay. That looks nice. Now, how about some red? Sorry for my arm again. And let's see, how do I wanna decorate this one? I'm gonna go with another line inside. Now, maybe this is hard to see. I don't know, but we'll spruce it up. Yep, I like that. I like that just fine. Let's get, hmm, I'm debating yellow, orange, yellow, orange, maybe purple. Do I have a purple? I think I do. Maybe I don't. Oh, I do. It's up here. Thought I did. And I'm going to thicken this one up. Whoop. Let's give it a little more paint. I don't know why it's making that scratchy mark. There we go. And let's just, I just rubbed it on my paper towel just to get off whatever might have been on there. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's fine. I think I'm going to go in now with some white.
and I'm going to go on the red line with some dots. Are you going to be doing anything special art-wise for Valentine's Day? Like maybe, uh, you know, I don't know, do you have an Etsy store? Are you making some crafts or some art with Valentine's in mind? It's so fun, you know, get out all those white doilies that we've been hoarding and can even get heart-shaped doilies, paper doilies is what I'm thinking about. Look in the cake decorating departments. Sometimes you can find some pretty cool paper products that way. I'm going into the red one again. If I don't get it right on the red thing, I'm not sweating it. And let's Bring these around this way. This is something easy, right? You could do this. There's a lady that I follow. I can't remember her name. But I'll try to think about it. But she hasn't done a video in literally weeks. She's been sick. But she did do a video just recently, like yesterday, and she was showing the sketchbook that she's working on while she's recovering in her recliner. Oh, unbelievable. Zen tangling, and she's doing pictures where all the shading is just with stippling dots. It's just beautiful. Very beautiful. But even she knows, you know, she doesn't want to let her hands and her muscle memory and all that give away because she's not using them. And she's ever so right. And I just love that she's so inspiring that she's showing us, even though she is down and out, she is still keeping her art heart going, which is just beautiful. If you know someone that does videos that's in a situation like that, you know, talk to them in their community page and, or if you're in their Facebook group and just say, Hey, you know, really inspired, you know, perk them up. I'll tell you, for those of us who are on YouTube, comments and likes and shares and subscriptions, it's just, it means so much to our heart as much as it helps us with our YouTube channel. All right. I like that heart very, very much. Okay. I'm going to head in with this green. Green for Valentine's Day, you say? Yes, I'm doing green. Oh, uh, which one? If I do this one, am I going to be, maybe I can start it upside down. I'm going to do this one. It may start making you think about Christmas again when I just get started with this, but I'm going to do a bit of a floral. And so I think it will be okay. little challenging at the seam, but we got it. We got through it. Okay. Now, let's see. I'm going to I'm just letting the leaves fall on top of each other if that's what they do, because that's what they would do. Just 
made some squiggly lines and I'm adding some leaves to these little vines. I think that looks pretty. Should I do another one like that? Maybe I'll do this one down here. And maybe I'll just put some leaves like that. Okay. Now this is that drier white. It's it, it feels so empty when I shake it. But let's just see what I can do. There we go. And some pink centers. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'm just going to put some pink dots. Yeah, I like that. Yes, I do. The white may need a second coat. I'm just going to let it sit for a minute. And now this one, I'm going to start out with a darker orange and give it some C shape. C, C, a C, or U shapes. And now I'm going to take the lighter one there, kind of rosy-ish, and I'm, the leaves came a little bit lifting up the paint underneath so I'm just just touching them with some of the green where the red was poking through there okay we've got three done should we do another one of course let's see if I can take that white marker and give these now <laughs> I think it's helping. Definitely. Yep. That perked that up. I think that heart's pretty. I think this one, well, I like them all so far. Okay, now, how about this really big red one? we got two of them like that. Well, I think I'm going to start now this purple. I'm going to start this red off with some purple, a purple around the edge. Now my, I think I'm okay. I can see a little bit of red. Okay. I guess I shouldn't say red. I could see like pink between the purple and the red is what I... There. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Now, maybe 
maybe like my kind of version of, of maybe one of those types of doily sort of ones. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to start out right here with a circle. I hope you can see the purple on the red as well as I can. Okay, I want to have one there. So I want to, you know, squeeze those in. This may look nothing like those doilies, but it's my version. <laughs> I think it looks nothing like those doilies. So that's all right. Okay. I'm just doodling and keep on doodling. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. And you feel like you don't know what to do? Just do anything. Make lines, make squiggles, make circles, make squares, make triangles. Do something. I know you can. I think I want to add another row of purple or another something of purple. I like that. And then I think I'm going to do dots in this one. I think the dots kind of can make it look almost lacy. If there's something that you think I should be doing, something that you think I'm missing, plop it in the comments and let me know. I tell you, when I do the editing, and I'm looking at this so many times, why did you do that? Why didn't you do this? It seems so obvious to me once it's done. But you see it, the good, the bad, the whatever. I like that. I really do. Okay. Now, maybe this little purple guy. Let's give purple, I always think purple and orange are about as far apart as you can get here. Darker orange. I mean, they're still hearts. You can't deny that. They're artistic hearts is what they are. Mm-hmm. Now I'm going to go with a lighter orange. And I just think I'm going to fill it with dots. Let's get it. It's I'm seeing, there we go. I was seeing more of the binder, that clear, than I was seeing pigment. And that just means with acrylics, they need shaking. There we go. That looks good. That looks fine. This one, it's so dark. Let's see if I can lighten this up a little bit. I have a lighter green. I like that better. And maybe this orange. Yep. Okay. That improved. All right. Let's get that lighter green. I like the way that looks. And let's try this little guy.
And maybe dots again. They are so small. I just can't come up with anything in my mind to put in them that anyone would be able to see. And, and I like the little ones having dots. I really do. Okay. Maybe another florally one over here. Sure. Okay. Let's see. We'll go on the outside edge maybe with blue. Give it a jolt. Well, if you've hung in here this long, thank you so much. Please consider subscribing because you must like at least a little bit what I'm doing. Maybe you were looking for some kind of a some kind of a Valentine's Day something or another. You came to the right place. And if you have an Etsy shop, give me the um, give me the directions. I was gonna say, you know, give me the URL link, and I I will definitely go take a look. If it won't let you, it may not let you put a live link in the comments. I'm not sure. My email is on my about page and it says for business only. And that's just because you have to actually physically click on that before you can see my email. And, and YouTube did that because so many people have these, these scouring programs that just scour out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let that dry before I put flowers on it. Um, they just scour out people's YouTube about pages and, and just grab emails and start spamming them. Where this way, a human has to physically click on it before you can even see it. So that's why that is like that. And, and I appreciate that they did that for us. I think that's, that's very nice. All right, I don't want to put dots in that one. I'm just going to have to think about it for a minute. What I'm going to what I'm going to do there. This one has dried now. So let's give it some flowers. This color maybe. Or is the well, the pink is not that bright. Let's let's go with orange this time. Kind of a peachy color. And let's give it a little pounce to get some more paint coming down. I'm just going over them again to see if I can brighten them up a little bit. And then I think in those I'm going to put white centers. Some oh, nothing, no surprise. I've got the little white guy. Let's see if we can get him. We probably need a second coat as well. Okay, now what could I do with this one? I've got this white. Maybe go inside and then put bigger dots. Yeah, that looks good. That looks sweet. Okay. Maybe take is this purple or dark blue? This is dark blue. And I'm just going to give it a... Yeah, I like this. Good. There. That was a solution. I like it. Okay, we got three more. One, two, three. All right. 
Let's see this one. I want to give it a white edge. I'm going to have to turn my book around. Good. Mm hmm. I wonder, could I do scallops? I realize they're not going to show a lot, but I think it'll definitely make a difference. Are you getting some ideas? Are you getting some inspiration of, of something that, that maybe you could do? I hope so. Mm hmm I like that. Yes. And I think I'll just put a line like that. Hmm. This needs something. Okay, needs more. I think it needs color. Okay, maybe this green. Let's get some of this in here. I like what this is doing. Yep. Good. A little more. That perked it up. Okay. Now, let's get that white again and see if I can spruce up these centers. Yep, that helped. Okay. Oh, three more. Somewhere I lost track or something. All right. I'm going to take orange. How are we doing on time here? Ooh, we're getting, we're getting long. Getting long in the tooth. Maybe I'll just, you know, I, I, no, no offense that, you know, because it's getting long, it is, but I'm really okay with leaving three of them with maybe just outlines. You know what I mean? I think, you know, that can be pretty too. 
I can see paint on the tip of this. All right. Oh yeah, that's very transparent. This is that empty one that I keep trying to convince to paint just a little bit more. All right, let's get, I don't know if this yellow is gonna show up, but we're gonna give it a go. Give it a punch. Oh yeah. I like that. Looks like fire. Yep. I think I'm going to try with these guys and add just a touch of this yellow. Help them a bit. Mm hmm. And now that white, this is too pathetic. Let's see. I uh, purple. Too close to other purples? Blue? Light blue. There we go. Let's do light blue. Good. Yes. I like this. And I, I don't think I'm going to try to put the border. I think it looks sweet just like it is. Certainly not that thick border. Maybe just... Let's get the blue and the purple. And let's just put a simple border like this. And go around that again. Kind of like interference. I like that. Now let's get the purple. I think that added a real punch. Very, very fun. I like it. All right. Please, if you like this video, consider hitting the thumbs up and like it. Signing my name. Subscribe. It helps my channel so much. I look forward to seeing you in another video. Bye now.